Yes. Yep. Yes. Great, thanks. So essentially we're, um, as the kind of curators of the, the Open Hem, um, which is a kind of interoperability layer, supports data exchange interoperability, um, we've been looking at, at how we can support uh, creating some kind of reusable components um, that, that would have uh, a kind of application for the COVID response um, in, in various places. Um, and so we've been looking at, at potential project ideas of, of uh, where we might be able to support that. Um, essentially, we're looking at uh, mediators, which is the kind of functionality that's built and, and applied on top of the open hem, which really has all the kind of business logic for particular use cases. Um, so we've been doing quite a bit of work around uh, uh, developing like generic mapping mediators and uh, kind of starting point mediators that, that people can pick up and, and much more easily um, adapt for particular use cases. Um, so part of our uh, Gemby and, and Open Hymns kind of response is there's, there's two uh, sort of ideas that we're, we're looking at. The, the one is uh, kind of generic support for COVID-19 data exchange, um, and, and that would be looking at adapting a, a kind of a generic data model um, like that being published by the WHO or um, that's coming out of the, the Open HIE um, COVID task force. But the, the other uh, one that I wanted to just raise here was, was this um, idea of, of developing a mediator that would be able to support um, uh, specifically DHS2 um, data exchange for, for uh, projects that are needing that. Um, and that would essentially use the, the DHS2 um, surveillance COVID uh, digital data packages that have been developed. Um, we're looking, you know, there, there's a few packages there uh, and we're kind of trying to prioritize uh, what, which of these to, to focus on or which to support initially. But um, our initial thinking is the, the case-based surveillance uh, tracker program. So this would essentially be um, EMRs or other kind of applications that would uh, be looking to um, submit that, that uh, surveillance data um, to DHS to, to, to their um, tracker program. Um, so we've done this in the past in, in a few projects um, like uh, uh, Mom Connect uh, in, in South Africa where, where we use the open hem um, to, to sort of populate uh, DHS2 tracker. Um, there's also other projects like Malaria Connect, which is uh, similar. And, and we would expect that the, the initial kind of exercise would be a, a data mapping exercise. So uh, basically, you know, specking out that, that actual DHS to track a program, um, all the, the, the fields and, and everything in there, and then mapping that to um, your, your source data, um, and then building a, a mediator that would be able to push into DHS too. And then for each EMR, you would potentially have a, a custom uh, data source uh, uh, format. So this could be, you know, it could be uh, kind of custom JSON, it could be, you know, OpenMRS API entities, could be FHIR. Um, we're not being specific about that. What, what we're doing at this stage is, is seeing if there, there is a interest or a need um, for this in, in, uh, within other projects. Um, and if anyone would be interested to, to kind of work on this, uh, particularly with OpenMRS to, to look at uh, getting that that data out of OpenMRS in uh, whatever format is uh, is is relevant, um, and then using the OpenHim to then adapt that um, and push that into uh, DHS2. So that's the the summary of it. Thank you so much. <laughs>